New York Governor Andrew Cuomo meeting with President Trump in Washington, D.C. today. That meeting was set to discuss a variety of issues, including restarting infrastructure projects aimed at jumpstarting New York's economy. Some of the projects being considered include the Gateway Tunnel Project, expanding the Second Avenue subway line as well. And it was a good conversation. You know, the president is from New York, so he has a context for all the things we're talking about. Uh, I think the president also acknowledges and realizes that uh, New York, we're very uh, aggressive about getting these projects done and getting them done on time. This is not the typical government project. We actually get these things done. We're building the first new airport at LaGuardia in 25 years in this country. Well, meantime, the governor says COVID-19 related hospitalizations and ICU patients, those numbers are down. The number of people who died from the virus increased by one to 74. Well, here at Fox 61, we want to highlight stories of hope during this pandemic. Fox 61's Jen Bernstein joins us with some of those. Jen. Ben, we love the stories of recovery from COVID-19 because they really are pretty inspirational. And today we are telling you the story of a Bridgeport man whose COVID comeback was really all things considered unexpected. Uh, it's not often that you can credit your employer with, you know, helping you recover from COVID-19, but that's exactly the case for 58-year-old Ray Piccinino of Bridgeport, who was nursed back to health by St. Vincent's Hospital, where he has been employed as a plumber for 33 years. Today, he was sent home after nearly a two-month recovery that doctors didn't necessarily expect. Listen to this. Devastating. Have to sit there and prepare his obituary and to call the funeral homes to make arrangements. It was, it was really hard. I broke down. I cried. I mean, you know, I love him like a brother. It was my 25th anniversary, and my present for my wife was I woke up, and that was my present for my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty incredible right there. Ray woke up after over a month on a ventilator, several days after his anniversary, as he just said, and his grandson's 12th birthday. His wife calls his recovery from multiple seizures, organ failures, and blood clots a miracle. We certainly wish him the best.